grilled shrimp, but not just grilled shrimp, grilled stuffed bacon wrapped shrimp. Whoa. Oh my gosh, this is like a full meal deal. And folks, I've been there so many times when you go to somebody's place and they be having a barbecue in the backyard and they be grilling some shrimp, but they got these little bitty shrimp, like they might've caught them like, I don't know, before they was grown. And hey, we're gonna use some big old colossal jumbo shrimp. and We're gonna put us some peppers in there, some cream cheese with a little chipotle in it all mixed up. It's gonna give you a bite both ways. I can't wait to get started, so let's get after it. Well, you can see the players are all in the field. Here they are. But I just think right off the bat, I'm going to show you one of these. These is not baby shrimp. No. That What's is, a honking shrimp? That is tiger shrimp. That is a meal. This is not like a hors d'oeuvre. This is like, ooh, I'm going to get full. So we got them right over there. They have already been shelled and deveined. Four ounces of cream cheese. Yes, sir. Mm hmm I like it. And to that, we're going to add some peach preserves. Yes. Now, you can use raspberry you can use apricot you can use whatever you would like just go to mashing that it helps if your cream cheese is at room temperature or you could even use that whipped cream cheese if you want to cheat but we just need to get this conglomerated all together conglomerated all yeah, together yes that is a cooking term a lot of you you'll hear on cooking shows a I've lot. never heard conglomerate on a cooking yes, show. Yes, that's what I was going to say. You will hear on cooking shows not the real words that people want to say, like conglomerate. Let's conglomerate this together. Yes. <laughs> what is this? Chipotle pepper adobo sauce. Now, you use however much you would like. I like about that much. We're going to mix that back up. Something that I think would really be good, and if y'all want to try it out and let me know, would be a pineapple habanero. Yes, cream cheese mixture. To that, we're gonna give just a little bit of rib rub to it to give it a little bit of that chili powder that's in there. Mm, that right there, I could just eat that for breakfast on a tortilla, I think. So we're gonna set that aside. You can go to the garden or go to the store and you can pick whatever kind of pepper you want. I am gonna use a mixture of what? Serrano and jalapeno. Now, when I'm gonna stuff these, I'm just putting a strip in there like this. And you, it, okay, y'all, I can hear y'all out there. You need to take the seeds out of them. I'm afraid they're gonna be hot. Well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the seeds out of some of them and some of them I'm not. So I'm gonna leave that up to y'all as to how many times y'all wanna do that. Hi, Big, glad you could join us. Been on a hunt. So let me get the rest of them cut up and we'll be in good shape. Well, that paper towel, Make sure that you get that moisture off of them shrimp you do. And if they're frozen, give them time to thaw out. Like I say, they have been shelled and deveined. Now, there's not a lot of room in here where we're going to stuff it, Shen. Well, right where that vein was, I want you just to cut down through there. Don't cut all the way to where we can get our goodness in there. So go ahead, take you a little bit of this right here and just smear him in there. And then I want you to take you one of these, lay right in here on it. And then I want you to take some peppered bacon. Yes. So wrap him here. Come around. Get you a toothpick and run through there. Number one is ready to go. So Bear with me, folks, because it is a process that has to be done, and we're going to get the job done. Are you rapping? I am rapping, like a rap song. Like I, W R or R? I be rapping my shrimp with bacon. It's what I be making. Got some jalapeno cream cheese, jalapeno goodness in it. What we making? <laughs> no, that's why I'm a cook and not a rapper. I'm gonna go ahead 
and trim this bacon. Show you a little trick that I like to do. I used to do it when I was working with leather. If you're wrapping something, it sort of lets it tie in there better. Just angle your corners off there on the front. Pull them around. Whoo. And as the bacon warms up in the Oklahoma sunshine, things get a little slimy. Here they do. So are you using a whole? A whole piece of bacon, minus the little piece I cut off. Why would you want to scrimp on the bacon? Got old Bertha with the grill on and the mesquite is in her, ready to go. Give it a little grease in here. And most of the fire is right here. We're gonna start them shrimp right down there on that end because we wanna let them warm up just a little. So let's just give them a good placing. Oh, did you hear that sound, Shan? It was called sizzle. Whew. I can remember when I was on the Gulf Coast for the very first time working a festival in Foley, Alabama. And they said, would you like to come to Wolf Bay and we're gonna have a little seafood cooking. Do you like fresh seafood? I said, well, freshest seafood I ever had in my life come from Mrs. Paul's fish stick box right there, it did, yep. I went, folks, and they fixed shrimp sort of like this. They had fresh oysters that they'd caught. We had mullet, oh my gosh. I fell in love with them folks down there on the Gulf Coast, did that festival for 13 years. They found out that I liked oysters and I found out that they like sourdough biscuits, so we had a pretty good trade, we did. Try to get all these on there without burning your finger. There's a cool spot right here, so we'll put him over here because the boat is getting overcrowded just a little. We don't want to burn the bacon, but we don't want to overcook the shrimp. So we're going to give them a little bit of rib rub here just to give them some, what you call it, goodness and flavor. Well, folks, that ended up being the really hot side of the grill. I can see the flames. Uh-huh. <laughs> Wind has changed directions it has, so we're going to move down here because bacon has what in it? Grease. Grease burns. Grease makes fire. So we're going to start down here. Need you to just rotate them things around because we want to brown that bacon up till it's as crisp as you would like it, but I want them shrimp to be opaque in there. If you're doing them on a regular grill, you can shut the lid, cook them on the indirect side. I would say for maybe three to five minutes aside, then you can move them back over there and finish them on the hot side. You cook them too fast, burn the bacon, shrimp is raw, and you have a cream cheese explosion that runs all of it out in the grills. We're gonna brown that side, then we'll turn them over, brown the other, then we'll finish up to the color we want. It is a done deal, it is. I'm gonna let them cool there just a minute. Folks, when you're cooking these shrimp, I, I'm sure, ever, you ever hear about it, you, you always hear them say, cook your shrimp to their opaque color. When I was little and in school, and the box of crayons never, <laughs> never, ever had opaque on it. That you know, is true. You know what I mean? I, I like to cook shrimp till they have firm texture right there, and you can see that they have got that color that is a little sort of fleshy color. Now, a lot of folks, they be also topping these with a barbecue sauce or something like that. And if you're gonna do that, do it right there at the last because I don't want you to burn that barbecue sauce on there and the other, but. Mm. Oh my gosh. Do the shrimp back up. And the crowd dad shuffle. Mm. 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 But folks, that cream cheese that jumps out of there and that, mm. Uh, peppered bacon too. Mm. I'm gonna give you a few tips on this that can even make it easier if you want to. If you're doing this on a grill over there where you can use more to indirect heat, you can shut the lid, get you some smoke flavor in there. You can pre-cook this bacon just a little bit in a microwave or cook it on the grill for just a second. 
then your cook time is not going to be as long uh, because I don't know how many of you are going to try to find these big colossal shrimp, but uh, that is what's happening. Um, puppies, let me see. Let me they see. already had bacon. Well, they're standing here looking at me like they're starving near to death. So I don't want to leave my puppies out. I don't. And the viewers love for me to feed the puppies. And Duke says, hey, I'm first. I'm right here. And the biggie. Where's that little one? Right by your feet. Mage, where you at? I can't find you. There he is. Everybody had a bite. Now they did. Mm. We hope y'all enjoyed this because we sure did. It was one of my most favorite meals. A jalapeno popper and shrimp and bacon all combined into one. Oh my goodness. But hey, we done snuck in another new event on some of y'all that might not have noticed yet. We'll be at the Hatch Green Chili Festival in Hatch, New Mexico. So it'll be a good deal. Remember, new aprons are back in stock. We'll do the model walk a little bit for you. <whistles> and oh my gosh, I just feel so good, I do. But it is with honor, great pride, and privilege that I tip my hat to all our servicemen and women and all the veterans who have kept that old flag of flying over camp. We commend you all we do. The rest of you, come on up in here. Get up in here quick. It's hot. I'm ready to go in the house, find a cooler. I'm going to give you a big old hug. God bless you, each and every one. And I'll see you down the grilled shrimp trail.